Hey guys, Justin Russell with Russell Marine Products here. I got Matthew and Jeremiah here in the lab to go over basically some of the science behind Eagle Eye 9. So we're going to kind of get into the nerdy, nitty gritty, if you will, and just explain some of it here. Yeah, so Eagle Eye 9 is built off the exact same hardware and ideas that we use to run Active Target, Active Target 2. Uh, it's that same technology. It's, 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 what the difference is, is that we've scaled it down to a more focused use case. And instead of having the three areas that we look at, so we have these three faces on the transducer that build that 135 degree front to back view. And this is fantastic for the angler that, you know, kind of needs everything once that full picture. But when we started looking at the application of maybe a smaller boat, a simpler install, uh, you know, a, a less of a budget to go out and spend money on, what we did is we actually took the same technology and we took a third of it. And so instead of having three transmitting faces that build up that 135 degrees, we now have one that gives us two dedicated focus sectors of a 30 degree looking forward and a 30 degree looking down. Okay. And when you think about it, like 30 degrees doesn't sound like a whole lot, but you've used the product on oh, the yeah. water. Yeah. It is a great field of view, great coverage. So what you'll have instead of the full view is you'll have a focus forward view and a focus down view, which allows you like as a user to just quickly yeah, change. Yeah, it lets you be able to, you know, see in front of you, still be able to make a cast, watch a bait come all the way back to you. I mean, you've watched a fish chase your bait, oh, Justin, yeah. right? Like. Same thing with down. You got enough space right underneath you. If you're doing a vertical presentation, you can see right underneath you. I the other thing you get for ice fishing. I was about to say the other thing you get is down scan and traditional too. So you have all those sonars no matter what you're doing. You've got two beams of forward and you've got traditional and down also. One of the, the important things, in my opinion, to, to let people know is you're not rotating a transducer yeah. to go between the views. Yeah, now, so that's you that, have to select it on your unit, but the transducer itself is able to do both basically on one. Position. Yeah, that's part of the magic Jeremiah was talking about. So these arrays um, that's in, or this array that's in here is responsible for those two beams. So we can just flip between the forward one and the down one just on the display. And that's designed like this transducer and designed are, are designed to be a, a system that work together, right? So that's how they, they kind of come together. And with the bracket on this one, it's fixed, right? You mount this to the trolling motor, or if you were to do an ice bracket, you mount it, you know, to the top that's there. Right. It also can come with an optional transom bracket. Yeah. But the goal of this is with you getting software selectable forward or down, you don't have to manipulate anything. Right. With this covering a wider field of view, obviously, when you want to point that in a different spot, you got to go down and make the two clicks, get it facing down or get it facing forward. With this guy in the focus dedicated views, it's just right there. You just pick it up through the menu. So what's that utilizing kind of the same arrays or the same arrays out of your active target to the clarity was something that really kind of caught me off guard, especially especially for something for the price point right. that this really hits. So, you know, you're sub a thousand dollars on here mm -hmm. without the discover mapping. If you want the discover mapping chip included with it, more. you're yeah. forty nine dollars yeah. more. So it was really interesting to me to see that out there. What I wasn't prepared for or what you didn't tell me about was the 2D sonar on this thing is yeah it's crazy. really nice yeah yeah crazy crazy through that so can you explain some like where did the 2D sonar goodness come from on that because right because like yes you can do other things with other transducers but all in one having yeah. that ability was really really good so part of that I won't totally answer because that's some of the magic of how we're doing it right <laughs> but I, I do want to say for that 999 price point we're not cutting any corners like the clarity of the the forward and down is fantastic. The clarity of down scan is fantastic. In terms of 2D sonar and shallow water, and I say shallow is less 60 to 80 feet, that is the best 2D sonar we make on the market right now. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, how we're doing it is not cheap. It's all based on the same technology that we're using to get the forward and the down views, but it's all the same transducer, all built in, all ready to go, and unbelievable it's quality. It's the same technology as Active Target 2, which just scaled down. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, guys. Guys, if you're looking for a new unit around a thousand bucks to get you with forward facing sonar, get you out there on the live sonar, be sure to give the Eagle Eye 9 a view. It's a great unit, great unit for the money. I've tested out several times on the water. Obviously, you guys have tons of time behind this thing, but really, really good unit. I can't stress enough, absolutely damn good unit for the money. So be sure to check it out at russellmarineproducts.com. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade in easy. Three steps. Step one, Shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.